Hey, I'm Bill Nighthawks. Here we are with Module 3, Lesson 27. Uh, this lesson is I will be able to represent and solve division problems with up to three-digit dividend numbers. And we're going to continue using the place value chart to see how it um, decomposes, okay? So our first problem today is 423 divided by 3, okay? So we're going to see how if we divide 423 into three groups, how much is going to be in each group, okay? So if I have hundreds, tens, and ones, what we want to do first is represent our dividend, okay? So I have one, two, three, four hundreds. I have two tens and I have one or three ones. Okay. So when we think about this, if I have groups of three, okay, so I'm going to, here's group one, two, and three. Okay. We're breaking 423 into those three different groups. Now, if I have four hundreds, I'm not gonna be able to do that evenly. So here's one, two, three, but I still have this 100 that I'm going to decompose into tens because I can't evenly break that into um, my three groups because there's only one of them. So this guy's gonna come over here. And remember when I decompose, my 100 is equal to 10 tens. So I'm gonna add my 10 tens to my two tens. So I've got two, and I'm gonna add 10 more. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, so now I have 12 tens that I'm going to um, decompose evenly in these three groups. So it's gonna look like this. I'm gonna have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So I broke my 12 evenly between those three groups. There's none left over, so there's none I need to decompose to my ones. Now I have my ones, and easily enough, I have three of them. So there's one, two, three. So my quotient, my answer to this problem is how many is in one of those groups? So in my one group, I have 100. I've got four tens and one one. So my quotient is 141. Okay, so this is another strategy that you can use for um, dividing if you aren't really liking the area model, if you're not really liking the standard algorithm. Um, this takes a lot of more time, especially when we get to those larger numbers, but for these smaller numbers, it's nice for you to see Okay, this is what's happening. I'm taking this whole and I'm breaking it evenly into three groups. And whatever the value is of one group, that's my quotient. Okay, all right, let's do another one together. All right, so we have 783 divided by three. And over here on the side for this one, I'm going to um, kind of walk us through at the same time uh, with the with the standard algorithm okay so if i have 783 i first need to represent that here so i need one two three four five six seven i have eight tens one two three four five six seven eight three ones one two three i'm breaking this into three groups so here's one two, and three. And remember, if I can't evenly decompose my value into my groups, then I need to um, break those down into my lower unit. So if I have seven, here's one, two, three, four, five, six. And if I put one here, that's not gonna make it equal. I need all these to be even. So one of these, I'm gonna to have to break down into tens, okay? 
So we're going to add 10 here. So I've got eight, nine, 10, there's two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10. So eight plus 10, that gives me that 18 there. Okay, so we're gonna see um, how many can we put into each of our groups. We have 18 total. So here's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. So we were equally able to distribute those into our three groups. So we don't need to break any down, okay? So over here, I want, need to transition this over there to our standard algorithm. So I was able to uh, make two. Um, three is able to go into seven two times. So this two is gonna go right here onto my answer line, okay? How many groups of three could I make out of seven? I was able to make two groups. Now, how many do I have in my tens? I have one, two, three, four, five, six. There's six there, right? So three times two gives me six. Seven minus six left me with one. That's that one that I had to decompose into my tens, right? When I brought down my eight, that left me with 18. I had 18 here that I had to break into the three groups. And how many uh, groups were we, or how many did we have in each group? We had six. So three times six gave us that 18. And now I bring down my three, and that's my three ones I have left. So my three ones, I'm able to distribute evenly. So one, two, three. How many, time, how many groups of three can I make out of three? One. So I have two. 161, so there's two, six, and one, which is my quotient of 261, okay? So this is just that visual, right? If this is making sense to you, this is extra time. It makes you understand it a little bit more, uh, but remember, this is our ultimate goal. This is what we want to try to be able to do but we also want you to understand what's happening when we're dividing. When I'm dividing something, I'm breaking it into groups evenly, okay? I don't have anything left over, so I don't have um, a remainder, okay? All right, let's do another one. All right, so here's the last one for today. 546 divided by three. So we're taking our dividend. We're gonna represent that first. So I have one, two, three, four, five hundreds. I have one, two, three, four tens. And I have one, two, three, four, five, six ones. And we're dividing that by three. So I need my one, two, three. That we're dividing that into as equally as possible, okay? So if I have five, can I divide that equally between three groups? I have one, two, three, four, five. Well, that's not gonna work, right? Because then I would have one group with only one in it and it needs to be all the same. So we're gonna have to take two of those and decompose those into tens. So each of those are worth 10. So I've got, let me get my smaller marker, two smaller dots, okay? So I've got one, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Can you see that? Oh, that's so small. Okay. So we've got 10, 24. So we have 24 in here right now that we're going to divide equally between three groups as best we can. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24. We are able to equally distribute that. So we have 100, we've got eight tens, and now I still have to break apart my ones that I have six of. So one, two, three, four, five, six. So in my hundreds place, I have one. My tens place, I have eight. 
and my ones place I have two. So our final quotient should be 182. So let's work through that with the standard algorithm and make sure it connects correctly. So five divided by three. Well, three can go into five one time. Three times one gives me three. Five minus three is two. There's our 24. Remember we had 24 in here? So far so good. I've got 100, 100. 24, I had 24 I had to break into. So three can go into 24 eight times. Three times eight, 24. And then we have to bring down our six. And we had six here that we had to divide in, into three groups. So three, six divided by three, is two. Three times two is six. 182, 182. All right, so as you guys are doing these problems, I really want you guys to be doing them on paper, okay? Don't just plug a number in. Don't um, use a calculator. You know, it's hard because I can't watch you guys at home, but if you guys are doing math without paper, or without a whiteboard, or without working out the problems, um, it's so much easier for you to make mistakes. Okay, so please, please, please be doing your problems on paper. Um, I always try to do the question, like freeze the screen where you can see this as you're doing your problem. Um, it's not a quiz, right? It's not a test, but it is to see what you're understanding and not understanding. So really try to do your best so I get a really good look at what you do understand. Okay, all right, good job today. We will keep working on this. Um, and we'll see you guys soon. Have a great day.